Come on, man. Hurry up. We hustle daily. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, coming to y'all with another Cold Park walk around. Special thanks to Cold Park for allowing me to do what I do, guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the whole entire Hustle Nation, man. Got to tell y'all that in every single video, man. Like, make sure y'all know that I love you guys and I appreciate your, your support. We about to get right into it, y'all. But in today's video, um, we may be winning this Tahoe right here. We got to see. Uh, it's coming up for sale. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Join the Hustle Nation if you haven't done so already, man. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all, man. Follow me on all social media platforms as well, guys. TikTok on the side of the screen. Instagram on the side of the screen. And make sure you guys go to whdacademy.com if you're interested in learning how to buy and sell cars from the auction, how to buy cars without a dealer license from the auction, how to properly inspect cars, the whole nine. I don't want y'all getting a lemon. Stop thinking you can just go to uh, auctions and buy cars like Cold Park, and then you end up crying and you because you don't end up gotten the lemon, right? So I'm gonna show y'all everything I know, man. So make sure y'all go to that academy, guys. So Tahoe, Tahoe, Tahoe. We're gonna be bidding on this Tahoe today. Uh, in a couple of previous videos, I showed y'all the Tahoe, did the walk around of the Tahoe and everything like that. I was interested in it, passed all my tests. Today is sale day. We got a uh spider get off my get off my car i'm claiming it right now get off my car but i'm noticing something was on the what is this what the hell is that oh it's a bumper but the bumper don't go to this car i don't know y'all do that and then i'm gonna show y'all the car but let's move that man get that from up under my whip dog how can i get up under there and get it oh here we go right here y'all so we're gonna move this out my way, out the way. Damn, it's stuck up under there. So I might actually have to move the actual vehicle. But check out the Tahoe, guys. So this is the Tahoe that we're going to be bidding on. Uh, of course, you start no noticing more stuff about the vehicle when you uh start really paying attention to it. So a thousand i like i think it's like 1100 right now that they current bid on this tahoe is so it's about to come up any minute now the auction has already started so let me go ahead and show y'all the tahoe it's a 2002 with 225,000 miles as you can see it was working a little bit we got some stuff back here um hopefully the seats don't look that bad uh but it is kind of dirty though i'm not gonna sit here and flex uh I trying to open that that didn't open but you know definitely need a detail i might get this truck detailed depending on how much um money i'm gonna have into it I'm not sure yet it is the lt um ha i have had tahoes before one or two or three not a lot see like these seats they need to be cleaned thoroughly that's why i say i might get it detailed um you know because it's kind of it's really dirty you know what I mean? So we might have to get this one detailed. What is that in there? There's nothing but dust, dirt in there. So yeah, guys, we might have to get this one detailed. Or I might detail it myself. Y'all know, cheap play Ray. You know, I'm, you just never know with me. You know, I'm saying that I might get it detailed and then I don't get nothing detailed. But you can see it's kind of filthy, guys. Let me get in there. Ugh. Look at the seats. Like, it's kind of, it's kind of filthy. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and flex to y'all. But guess what? We got a sunroof, baby. We got a sunroof. We got some CDs to listen to on the way to the crib. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. 225 on the miles. Um. Yeah. So we gonna be bidding on this thing, man. We bidding on this thing today. Nothing in there. What y'all think about it? 2002. Y'all let me know what y'all would spend on it. Um. Look at the tires, by the way. And it is the 5.3 liter engine. But y'all let me know what y'all would spend on this. Um. Damn, I was just about to tell y'all something, but I forgot. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, in this video, y'all know I really don't usually show how much money. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, show how much money I won the car for. But in today's video, hey, I might show y'all how much I won the car for. So y'all stay tuned for the truck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay tuned. So 
we are going to see. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like um, I had just bought something that I might need, even need this space for. So it's like, man, the, the thing that I bought can go like right in here with no problems. And I'll be able to transport it myself without having to rent a truck or bothering my boy Phantom to use his uh, pickup truck or bothering my uh, my uh, my people about using a Dodge Ram. Even though I can use it, it's just, I don't know, y'all. I'd be, I'd be liking to do everything by myself, man. Like, it's okay to use help. I mean, have help, but I like to stand on my own two feet. I don't really like to bother nobody and stuff like that. Like, you know, so. Like, even when it comes to getting this car, I don't think I'm a, like, because this, uh, this location is away from my mom. So, I don't think I'm going to bother her and be like, hey, mom, can you help me? I'm get this truck or nothing like that i'm gonna probably just take uber now if she want the money that i'm gonna get an uber person then all right bet you know but we'll see but i'm probably gonna let you guys see how much i paid for it. yeah i already said it so yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all see how much i paid for the truck today today's y'all lucky day so we're gonna see how much i paid for the tahoe guys and like i say man make sure y'all go to the whd academy because i'm not gonna be on the side of the road guys i'm gonna drive this car home and I'm driving it home, so. But y'all know at Copart, you're not to, allowed to drive the car, so we don't know how the transmission is gonna shift or anything like that, which is unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is, guys. But let's keep moving, man. Let's get right into it. And uh, hold on. We got a Bentley. Check us out, boy. Check out, check out the Bentley B, guys. Ooh-wee. Four-door. I like that. The way that look with the B right here with the wings is a 2014. I don't know why it has two stickers on it, but this is a VW 12. I haven't seen this Bentley in here before. Super nasty. Super nasty. That's the button to push. Super nasty. Y'all see the damage on it, though. It's a little damage on this thing. This is a presidential ride right here. This is your S500, really. But a bentley version crazy on the interior love the interior actually with this uh this uh brown and peanut butter they kind of went crazy on this with the brown carpet okay with the brown carpet guys they went crazy on this bentley this is a new bentley here I, oh my gosh my hold up my arm is itching hold up y'all i'm sorry like a mosquito or something was on me so yeah man um do y'all give us panoramic no panoramic though Look at the Bentley on the seat. The Bentley B on the seat. Looks nice. I like it, man. And it got the brown in the seat. So you can see the brown. You can see the brown here. No power on that. Let's check out the interior. I mean, front. Ooh. Yeah, they went crazy on this Bentley, man. I like it. It's the doorknob. Okay, there's the doorknob. But they went crazy on it, man. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Y'all have ever drove one of these, man? A coupe. Uh, 500 horsepower. I drove a 2014 one time. 500 horsepower. Hold up. 500 horsepower. Drove it. Super nice. I don't know if I like this. Why did they separate that? But um, that's how all the Bentleys are, I guess. But um, I do not think it's going to have no power. I might have just seen something light up. So let's see. Ooh, it's hot in there on the big 21 so 21 inch wheels on this one it's not that bad actually the damage is actually not that bad on this thing you actually 31,000 miles for 2014 so oh I might have to push the brake Sitting up close to the damn seat. Gotta push the start button here, but none of this is working. I'm pushing a brake and everything. None of this is working. Damn, is it open? I even like this. How it goes up. It went crazy on it. Let's check out the interior. Though. Not the interior, under the hood. Okay, perfect. W12, man. 6.0, 
twin turbo w12 guys so this thing is a beast y'all see it man this thing is an absolute beast man it's the first time seeing it here i haven't seen it before then they got the rc i know i showed y'all the rc before no this is a different one no 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 this is the same one this one's actually been here for a good little minute actually rc 350 what do y'all think about the rc 350 i i personally like these um i like them i like them a lot i like that they're coupe that boy just super presidential right there i like it because they're a coupe and you know the interior go crazy on it it's not the f the the sports one because i think some of them got the like sports seats i actually went to lexus yesterday and i seen like the rc but it, it was like way more sportier than this one here but this one is nice still sunroof yeah, some roof I couldn't see because of the sun. But y'all see the damage on it. They got some uh, markings on it. And this trim piece is gone. But this is a nice blue. Nice blue with the crazy red interior. I like it. It's decent, man. I like it. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. Y'all taking this. Have some fun. Or you riding presidential style, man. You riding presidential style when you get in the Bentley, man. Y'all let me know in the comments below. All right, we got a Corvette, but what do they mean by this? <laughs> if you can't see it, you must be blind. What do they mean by that? What do they mean by that, y'all? If you can't see it, you must be blind. What do they mean, the damage? That threw me off there. I was looking, I'm like, what the hell are they talking about? You can't see it, you must be blind. Y'all see something? I mean, they're up. Are they talking about the damage? I don't know what they mean by that. They said if you can't see it, you must be blind. I don't know, but we got a Corvette here. Looks like it's a Stingray. This is a new one in here because I just haven't seen this before. Let's see if it got power. I know these don't ever got powerful. I can open the doors in this thing, but you see the bumper came off a little bit here. It's got the, look at the spider web, man, damn. It's got the uh, clear tail lights. I thought the clear tail lights was for the Z06, but this is definitely not a Z06 the way it's looking. It looks like a Stingray. It's got the Stingray wheels. They probably just changed the the um, tail lights. It's a 2015 model. And yeah, it does say it's a Stingray on the sticker there. But unfortunately, we can't even get in this thing to see what's going on with it. It sucks. But I'm not sure if this one's even for sale yet, but I know it's a new car because I haven't seen it here before. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below. Now let's go look at something cheap. All right. And this is what I mean by cheap. This is what I like buying. Stuff like this. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So we got an Oldsmobile Cutlass. 45,000 miles on a Cutlass, bro. What? Look at the tires. 1988 Cutlass Supreme. No emissions needed for this thing. Got some paint fading right there. Paint coming up. Big boy. Door. Clean on the inside. Not bad. Not bad at all, if you ask me. Look at that. Not bad at all. Now, I don't know if this car is going to resell good, honestly, because it's not like a known car like that, so... Damn, it's hot in here. Let's see if we can get this thing cranked up. Let's see. Damn, I don't got no power. The door didn't move, so. But with 45,000 miles, man, I might crank this one up, honestly. I'm not sure if it's gonna be today, but I definitely will crank it up next time I come here, which is probably the next week. Since I ain't bring my damn box. I'm not going to feel like walking all the way back up here. But this is not for sale until a week, so I have time to um, 
check it out. Let's see. You got a 2.8 motor. And now it says 45,000 miles on it. So does this look like it got 45,000 miles on it to y'all? We got some oil around there. Everything. So I don't know about the 45,000. But we can crank it up, man. And we gonna see uh, next time I come. Because like I said, I got plenty of time to come check this car out, man. Because, uh, you know, it's not for sale until like another whole week. So, all right. So we definitely are going to be cranking this up. Look at the big ass fuses. Cover that up. So we definitely going to be cranking this up next time I get here. What's going on with this? But right now we're just going to keep it moving. Our uh, Tahoe is coming up. So let's see if we can win this Tahoe, guys. And uh, hopefully we can be walking out. What is that? I don't know, y'all. This thing might be having some couple of issues hold on oh it's like i couldn't even tell that it was a, a, a part of the hose it's been there for so long but yeah man so the tahoe is coming up so let's see if we can win a tahoe we can watch it together so let's see if we win all right y'all we got a new one here look like karen it is the ls just like karen so this black look kind of good. I like the white ink on Karen, but this black look kind of good. And with the matching wheels, um, 22s. I don't know what type of wheels those are, but uh, I'm, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the stripe they got going on. They got this little stripe going on. It matches the car perfectly though. I ain't gonna flex. This, this is a brand new car actually, 2015. Well, not brand new, but I mean, it's a, um, what you call that? A damn uh, new inventory coming in here. But you can see the front. They changed the grill. This Impala look kind of nice, man. Made me want to hook up Karen, y'all. Made me want to hook up Karen. But y'all let me know what y'all think, though, on the 22s. Um, me personally, I don't think this car is equipped to, like, be driving on 22s, honestly. Uh, well, I don't know how heavy these wheels are, but, like... Karen is already slow and it's a V four cylinder, which is also this car right here. Now this is my first cause I got cloth seats and everything. Interior, everything is the same. So now this is new though. I will say this, look, no sunroof or nothing, but this is new. So they hooked a radio up in here. This is my first time seeing a radio up in here, uh, like one of these cars. So that is new. This is ugly. Uh, it looks way uglier than the stock, you know, but I was wondering how it would look if somebody put a TV radio in here and this is actually what it looks. Oh, look, that comes up. Okay, so now I know how to, uh, probably, um, you know, uh, change this thing. I'm gonna just set that down right there, but that's what happened though. So you buy this little kit, I guess, and then you can put your radio in here. But this thing got power and everything though, but you know, me personally, um, I don't think I would have put, um, you know, um, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. This is too much. This is too much, man. This is too much. I mean, no, the car look good, though. I ain't gonna flex, but I just think the wheels is too much is what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't think I would have put 22s on Karen. I, won't, I wouldn't put 22s on, on Karen because it's already damn slow as hell. And make sure this is the four cylinder. Yep, it is the four cylinder. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. But I mean, I like the way it look. I even like it. I, it looks decent, but... I don't know. Me personally, I think I'm straight. What's up, Hustle Nation? This video has been sponsored to you by WHDAcademy.com, the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game, all my tips on how to properly inspect cars, and most importantly, how to make money. As you can see, I've been doing this for a while. And as you can also see, I have plenty of testimonials on how I've helped others gain success in this business. So if you're interested in learning, be sure to click the link in the description below. Come on, man. Fuck. Hurry up. Sold on approval. And all right, guys. 
y'all see it man y'all see that we did just win the tahoe um but y'all seen what it was right hey i don't like how um that jump be taking a whole lo long time to freaking end the bid man but you know they're trying to get all their money but we did win the car 1800 bucks with fees and everything don't quote me on this i'm not sure but it'll be like 2300 dollars so don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I'm not positive about that, but I'm just guesstimating how much it'll be. But if you win a bid of 18, you're looking at paying about 2,300 bucks. So we will see, but I did win this vehicle, guys. We did just win it, but it is on call. So on call means maybe they might want more money. They might want 2,000 for it. They might want 19 for it, or they could accept my bid. Do I want to give them more money? No. Who does? But we'll see. The truck was good. It turned out good. As long as it ain't nothing crazy, like they want like three grand or something like that, I might give them a little bit extra money. I like the truck. I like the way the truck rides and everything. I know it needs to be cleaned up, but I like the truck, but we ain't going to go too crazy. We got to make sure we can make our money. Y'all don't know the car market is kind of messed up. Even when I was looking on line to see what other people were selling their Tahoes for, um... I don't even see a whole bunch of Tahoes. That's so crazy. Like the used car market is kind of bad right now, guys, which everybody knows. So it's kind of hard to buy a used car right now. But, you know, we did win that thing, man, at $1,800, 23 out the door. So we will see if they give this thing to us. But you just never know, man. Just never know. They may want more money. But like I say, hopefully they don't want no more money. But, uh, yeah, man, I would like to have... I, I would like for them to tell me if I won the, like, like they're going to give it to me right now, but that's, you, can, you just got to wait until the seller approves it or denies it or counter bids you. You just got to wait. There's nothing you could do. Usually when I win a car here, I have to wait till next day to know. So I might as well go home, man. But I would, would have drove it right on out of here, man. And came back and go, came back to get Karen, but it's not going to be like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just go on and wrap this video up, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I love you guys, man. Make sure you go to whdacademy.com if you want to learn how to buy and sell cars and properly inspect cars. Because believe it or not, you ain't got to believe it. I'm going to show you. If I win this car, I'm driving the car home. You feel me? So shout out to the whole Hustle Nation, guys. Appreciate you guys. I love you guys. It's your boy, Ray. Big Play Ray. We want another car today. But it's on call. I'm out. Peace.